Hello everyone, my name is Lyric. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to do a, um, a tarot love message for the collective. I'm going to pull uh, one of these energy cards. Uh, they're called the Native Heart Healing Oracle. They're a really interesting deck. And uh, I want to try them out. So uh, let's get some uh, overall energy for this collective reading, please. Guess it's gonna be this one on the bottom. Soul Star Chakra. Wow, that's um, extremely ambiguous. The number seven, divinely inspired, divinely timed, patience, the unknown, the mysterious, so um, I feel at this time, Source isn't giving us a whole lot to go on. That um, instead of knowing, Source wants us to trust what's happening. So um, for the collective overall, uh, we're being advised to trust the situation that we're in. To trust that things are the way that they're supposed to be. That you're, and we got the Wheel of Fortune. So we're going to look at the energies from the masculine, the feminine, and the uh, connection. Interesting. Very unusual. I'm just um, very, I feel, I don't have words for the energy present. Just it's unusual and distinct. Definitely not my energy. Definitely not personal energy. Heartbreak. Delusion. In and out energy, excitement, unsure, lack of confidence for the connection. So this is, uh, <sighs> so I have the, um, the wheel of fortune, the three of pentacles and the hierophant card. So I feel that the divine feminine at this time has kind of put her foot down in this situation, in this connection that she's kind of been like, look, dude, um, you know, this has been going on for a while. Are you with me? Are you without me? What are we doing? And um, I, there's the four of pentacles. What am I getting with this? I feel in the past there was a change of, um, of energy here, a shift in the energy. And um, I feel that the Divine Feminine decided to, to let go of control in this situation. That she decided that this was um, bigger than her. That she wasn't willing to fight anymore. That she was um, laying her swords down. And, um, and presently, she is um, sitting within herself asking Source for guidance. Asking Source... For help. Um, I, I feel that she's asking for source for both of her and her person. And I feel that um, when she calls upon source that she feels that uh, she looks at source as um, a parent. As a guide. And so that's why she's depicted here as a small child. And she um, has decided that she doesn't want control of this situation anymore. That this is up to um, divine, divine will, divine guidance, divine timing. That she's um, pulled her energy away. She's not interested in trying to influence this connection anymore. Um, she's looking for something that's more stable and committed. And... Um, Looking for something more traditional and realistic here with the Hierophant card. And I, I feel that if she can't um, achieve this kind of stability or tradition in her connection, then I, I feel that she's going to walk away from this connection. So if this reading resonates with you, Divine Feminine, book um, a personal reading and we'll go deeper into this. Um, this isn't for everyone. Take what resonates, what, it, what doesn't resonate. Leave off, okay? Don't make this fit to your situation if it doesn't fit. There's tons of tarot readers that could be telling your story. Um, 
for the Divine Masculine, I, um, gosh, that's so unusual. So the Divine Masculine is looking, I'm going to have to pull some cards on this. Um, because I have the, uh, the Two of Pentacles and the Death card. So I feel that he was trying to balance between um, something that was the cause of his death and something that would bring him into fulfillment. And this seems like a strange choice to be making, but for some reason, this Divine Masculine um, could not figure out between death and fulfillment. That there was something obscuring his vision, that he could not um, interpret his actions in the right way. He couldn't define his own wants and needs. So let's pull some clarity for the Divine Masculine. Because it's not very clear what this Divine Masculine is up to. How is this Divine Masculine? Clarity, please. The Queen of Pentacles. Someone successful, generous, grounded, responsible. It could be that he felt that his um, Divine Feminine was insecure. And that she was flighty in and out. That she was, in fact, not this um, as stable and and confident as she believed that she was. She poured. She, she saw herself as someone that was confident and secure and outgoing and ambitious and someone who decisively stated, "Hey, these are the things that I want." But it looks like, from the divine masculine's point of view, that's not the case. That he, um, she was someone that was opposite of that. Someone that was. Um, indecisive delusional insecure unsure of what she wanted and so the divine masculine in turn pulled his energy away as well so there's a definite disconnect at this time i'm not sure how long um this disconnect has been happening um maybe for just a little while now and um there's no there hasn't been any communication from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. It's been um, a stalemate. Nothing's coming in and nothing's going out. For the connection, I have the Three of Swords. I have the Seven of Cups. And I have the Page of Wands. So I feel that this Three of Swords is um, relevant to the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. I feel that they're both in heartache at this time. Um, and I feel that their egos are really, really involved in this connection. That it's not uh, their hearts that are being... Uh, this picture shows a heart, but this is a picture of a heart. This isn't the, the inside of the individual. And I feel that the um, they're, they're fighting with their egos. That my ego is bigger than your ego, and I'll show you how. And that's why that these two, divine feminine and divine masculine, are no longer in connection, are are not are no longer in union at this time, because um, their egos are in the middle of their connection, and these swords need to be removed, so that source can come through, so that source can begin healing the, these wounds, and so that the ego can subside, and the, and the sovereign being can be. Um, reunited and this is the this is for both the divine feminine and the divine masculine um let's pull some clarifying let's pull some more let's get some more, let's go a little bit deeper on the connection what else can you tell me i have the um the high priestess for the page of wands so um during this time, this connection is going to go through um, a period of uh, no communication, a period of separation. And Source is going to, um, is allowing time so that these, these individuals can go within, that they can um, pull into their intuition, that maybe they'll be, um, recognize their psychic abilities. Maybe they'll be able to, um, recognize their ability to have tel to have telepathic communication with their person and they'll start to remove the ego and they'll start to be uh, in tune with the soul and um yeah and it's kind of 
so that they can so that they are more in tune with the soul so that the realization of a soul connection is there versus an ego connection because they don't realize that they're battling with their egos they don't um it's like it's he said she said drama it's 3d bullshit it it's um well my friends think i can do better than you and oh this bitch whatever like it's just it's not it's very um i call this two-dimensional very two-dimensional it's not even three-dimensional it's two-dimensional so um it's a very um basic type of connection and it's going to remain that way unless um they go inside and take a look at themselves and that's going to happen or it's potentially going to happen in the future but it's not going to be anytime soon it's going to be in the distant future uh anything else Boom. hey son that's okay and i have the strength card the strength card and the six of pentacles so the the good thing about this connection was the sex was amazing and they were balancing you know i don't there was a a, a balancing act of, of ego stroking and um just two-dimensional bullshit just really really um surface level sort of like issues um personally if i was involved in this connection i wouldn't be in this connection because i can't do stuff like that like i have to be it has to be i don't know there has to be substance to the relationship otherwise i can't do it i know that personally but other people have different needs so um yeah so this is just um this is for people that are like you know i don't want to say it like that but um I want to ask another question. Are they gonna are they gonna learn anything from this connection? Are they learning anything from this connection? If they're not learning anything from the connection, then it's time to go. That's the that's what I'm getting, okay? Are they learning anything from this connection? It's hidden. So this is a this is interesting. Another miss so we have the soul. I'm gonna show you this. So when I'm trying to ask Source about um, if they're learning anything from this connection, I'm getting the Soul Star Chakra. I'm going to show you this card, how transparent it looks. And I got the Moon card, Pisces, Intuition, Water, Hidden, Subconscious. So this is a situation where we do not get to talk about it, where we get to experience it where we don't know really what's happening until we're more further through on the other side. That's very unusual. So I'll get some final thought cards on this reading because this is really boggling my mind actually. Um, very unusual energy. And I have um, one of my friends, she said that everything that's clear is mysterious which is odd it is odd because we see use clear things to see to get have better focus and then you feel like if you could see it if it's clear you could see it and you would know what it like if something was behind a shield and then it was moved so that the air exposed it which is transparent and you could see the thing you would know what it is but my friend sophia says that what's clear is an is not an illusion rather but it's what's mysterious and I think I, it's very hard to talk about. It's like, a, it's really, it's just interesting to think about. Anyways, let's pull some, um, get some final thoughts. I got a couple. I never meant to hurt you for the connection. I know we are twin flames for the connection. So this is just, um... A mess right now. This is a twin flame connection. You are the first person that has shown me what real love feels like for the connection. I don't think these present energies are have any sort of real clue about relationships or sincerity or emotional depth. Like that sounds really rude. 
but um that's just kind of how I feel and I, I feel like I can even imagine what these people might be like but maybe that's me being very judgmental I'm not completely sure if you listen to this whole entire reading please comment um let me know if it resonated or if it didn't resonate or if there's anything that came into your mind after listening to this video um, for people that this did resonate with, um, check out my description box if you need a um, another reading, a personal reading. Um, uh, book, book one with me. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, check out my description box. My email information is there as well. So that's all that I have for this collective love reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. Take care.